Hello, so this is Sarah Beth and I'm here and we're doing a makeup test because she asked me a very good question. Well, my son is getting married next week and Jessica's gonna do my makeup and I wanted to know which would be better to have airbrush foundation or regular foundation. So then Jessica said, let's make a video and try it out. Join us, we're gonna do a test and we're gonna do one side with classic foundation and the other side with airbrush. And then we'll visit in about, you know, in a few hours. You'll let me know which one looks better. Absolutely. Absolutely. You will see such a difference. Yes. You're a big before and after. Yes. Let's do this. It's nice to take it off. And then Absolutely. we're going to go in with a primer. We'll do a primer first okay. for, for both sides, the same primer. Okay. Perfect. And the primer, does it really help to set foundation? Yes. Mm. It sets it. It makes it last longer. If you're crying tears of joy at your son's wedding. That very well might have. Um, yeah, it's going to help repel the water a little oh, bit. okay. Yeah, it really does help. We see it and we know it because we have the makeups on for 14 hours a day when mm -hmm. people are acting. Here we go. This is the Becca primer. It just makes everything look poreless and really, really smooth. So we're gonna do the same primer on both sides. Perfect, so that'll give you a nice kind of a velvet finish to work from. And just for sanitary reasons, I work off of the paper. Here's our color corrector, and I'm gonna have you turn a little bit towards the light, and I'm just gonna use a tiny bit underneath the eyes you're doing it on both sides? Mm-hmm, both sides the same. And then we'll so go the over prep it. So yeah. is both sides the same? Prep is the same. So I'm just blending out the edges. And then I'm going really deep onto the corner of the nose, like that inside part mm -hmm. of the eye. It's really dark. Yes! <laughs> that makes a huge difference. So again, same on this eye. We're going in, inside corner and then I'm just blending it out. Perfect. Okay, color correcting done. Turn a little bit towards that light. Beautiful. And then I'm gonna go in, this is an Armani concealer. Same thing on both sides. Okay. You know, the concealer, we're not gonna change. So the question of concealer under foundation or over foundation? Well, I'm doing it under to give us a good base to work from. Okay. And on wedding day, we do that as well? Yeah. I think I'd still use so it. So what's, what is the opinion of um, doing it over as opposed to under, or under as opposed to under? You could do your foundation and see if you need more concealer. Mm -hmm. So you would get a lighter wash of concealer because you've already has the foundation under it. But I don't know, I just go right in, I do that concealer. I just mm -hmm. automatically do it. And with airbrushing, you don't want to disturb what you just did by putting a different formula on yes. top. I don't know if that you can do that. Yeah. I'm using a tiny beauty blender. And just a little bit here. I'm going to do just a drop on the nose. If there's any tiny little bit of redness on the chin, we can put that on. So I'm just tapping it on. But for pictures, I do think it's so good to have it on. See your skin. Well, doesn't foundation, can it sink into the wrinkles and yes. make them more pronounced? Yes. That's why I've always read as one gets older, it should be less face makeup than more. It can settle in. If it's too heavy, too thick, mm -hmm. if you put anything on too thick, it can settle. Mm -hmm. So we're just using color stay. Let me have you tilt your chin down just a little. So you have a little more color here and a little less color here. So this is gonna be, this is gonna actually give you color up here. So I'm using a wet mini beauty blender and we're going in with the color stay. Just for the camera's sake, I would put some on the neck because you don't know how when the flash hits it or if they're doing like a 4K video, maybe your son hires a videographer, you wanna have the same pigments on all the skin that's showing like around the face and the neck. Okay, one side is complete. Good stuff. 
So that's your color stay okay. um, on top of the Becca primer with the mini wet beauty blender. And you've got one side. Yeah. Oh, your brows are nice. Oh. Hello. That is really nice. Yeah, you look oh, nice. Okay, wow. so that's just a taupe color pop, easy brow. Nice. Super easy. Okay, so now the other side. Here we go. So I'm thinking of a few things for you. For airbrushing, I'm going to put on a cape okay. just to cover everything. And okay, here we go. So I'm just prepping with Kleenex. And can you take off your earring sure. on this ear only? Yeah. You're pretty covered. Your clothes are covered. We're in a good place. Here we go. Here's the airbrush, you guys. We'll get there. I'm using a Temp2 compressor. And this one I actually got on Amazon, this little guy. He's pretty cool. So I'm just going to get him going. Click on the switch and make sure that I'm hearing air come through. Sounds good. And then we pre-matched her shade. I'm using Cryolon Nebula. I'm going to give this one a shake. Here we go. Now, will this last longer than foundation? Mm -hmm. will, will airbrushing last longer than foundation? I feel like it does. Yeah. Uh, the Color Stay is going to give it a tough run for its money, though. Okay. Because the Color Stay is one, you'll see it in a lot of makeup trailers. It lasts a long time. I'm betting on the airbrush to last longer. Okay. That would be my guess, but we'll see. Okay. Mm. It's all removable with just regular makeup remover? Yes, okay. yes. Now that's the good thing. It all comes off with regular mm -hmm. makeup wipes, regular, you know, face wash will mm -hmm. take it off easily. It'll be And here we go. Yeah, so if you want to cover the other side, that helps our way forward. Thank you, Sarah Beth. And I'm just testing a little bit on my hands to see. I don't know if you guys can see that, but let me put it in the light. It's going to be very, very light, but if you get close, can you guys see that? There's a lot coming out, but it's coming out really finely. So I'd have to really push in and really push in if I wanted to cover something or make it garish. So it's going to go on in that thin of a coat. So I don't know how much you're going to see on video. And Sarah Beth doesn't have any, like if it was acne, I would push in and cover, cover, cover. But it goes on so, so, so thin and just a sheer wash. Really, really sheer. It doesn't feel... even seem like makeup's going on my face. I uh, know. Let me see your hand. Let's. Oh, good, good. See this little red spot? I don't know if you guys can see this at home, but here we go. So if I went in with the airbrush, I can softly cover it or I can push in. Did you guys see that red spot disappear? See that? But it doesn't feel like anything's going on. Nothing. Isn't that weird? That's crazy. That's what we're doing. That's crazy. Yeah, because some people will say, is that just air? What are you doing, you know? Let's see if you'll, you can kind of see the lips getting a little covered. I don't know if you guys can see that. So we'll perk up the lips with some, with something. But you, it's not easy to see it when it's actually on video. It's kind of hard to see. Like, is anything happening? I am doing a little bit on the neck, just to be sure. And then I'll do a little bit more on the eye area. Okay. Wow. Yeah, it is different. It does show more texture. It gave you more coverage under the eyes than this, the color stay did. And let's see, look up to the ceiling. So while it's just starting to, to set, I'm going in and kind of smoothing it just a little bit here. So that's, that's the difference that we're at now. This is the, the airbrush side, Cryolon Nebula, and this is Color Stay, and we also had a little bit of fun on the cheeks and a little bit of fun on the brows. So let me do a tiny bit of brow on this side. Okay. We'll do the cheek love and a tiny bit of contour. So they'll both look pretty much the same, and then in a few hours, we'll see what happens. Yeah. And what you bring to the face and the skin and the body, you know, how you fill up and how alive you are in your own skin starts mm -hmm. to really matter. You can see it in people's, um, their facial expressions start to be recorded in their wrinkles. Oh, absolutely. So you see those smile lines and you wanna to go towards that person. You see the frown lines and you wanna get away from that yeah. person. You know, you, it's a record, seems like. Gorgeous brows, hello. Oh God, such a nice difference. 
So I'm going back in with the blushes that we love, which was the coral. I'm just popping that cheek again, which really made a difference. So I highlighted and then popped a little cream blush over it. Same on this side. Then I want to finish off with the Urban Decay Setting Spray. I want you to really take this makeup to task. Like if you go outside and sweat or if you're cooking mm -hmm. and it gets a little steamy, that would be good. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is a great one. Okay, so I'll have you close your eyes and I'll spray three times. So I'm gonna do one, two, three. On video, it's very hard to tell the difference. Mm. So we'll have to see what happens in a few hours. So we're just doing a tiny touch up. We're doing a little pillow plump. The now what about lip bleeding? Do you do anything? Before I put this on, I'm gonna do a Charlotte Tilbury, a lip liner. So first we'll do just a little bit of lip liner and let's see if one or the other Oh, and I don't like to go over my lip line. I don't no. like that look. Keep it natural. Yeah. I like where it is. So let's see if one foundation or the other supports the lipstick staying on better. And I want it to be just like a featherweight, not too heavy. This is called Iconic Nude. This is your cream blush. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would just give your lips a little bit of that love too. Why not? Right? Let's see, and then we'll do the pillow plump. We'll do the plumper on top, and let's see what happens. But but I like when you put the makeup on, and it has a little time to be a part of you. Sure. So now we're going to do a little bit of the pillow plump, the soap and glory, on top. And this is the one that gives you that weird sensation, so it's nice to try it today. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Oh, that's a great color for you. I feel the tinglies. It's, yeah, everything's moving around in there. It, All right, I'll see you in a few hours and we'll see what happens. So it's been a few hours. I went out and did a few errands and I came back. And in looking at the makeup, I'm thinking I'm gonna go with the airbrush, which is this side, because I like the under eye coverage better. It seems to have caked less. So you can see the difference. I mean, it's so subtle, but for me, I think that's what I'm gonna go with. But I mean, both sides look absolutely gorgeous, so much nicer than the before. So I'm still thinking miracle of makeup, and I'll see you soon, bye. Here's Sarah Beth's final makeup look for the wedding. Leave me a comment and let me know if you've ever tried airbrush makeup and would you? I'll see you next time.